שלום everybody and welcome to רגע בעברית שורשים אדישן. I'm so glad you are joining us here as we're concluding the book of Shmot with Rabbi Moshe Alshech. As we conclude this book, we want specifically to look at the commentary of Rabbi Alshech on chapter 35 verse 31 that have to deal specifically with Bezalel. It says in Hebrew, וימלא אותו רוח אלוהים בחוכמה, בתבונה ובדעת ובכל מלאכה. He has filled him with the spirit of God, with the spirit of understanding and knowledge and every type of craft work. Now Rabbi Moshe Alshich asked an important question. Why is it that we read about Israel? Ruach Elohim, the Spirit of God in verse 31, as it appears to be redundant. It could simply say, according to Rabbi Alshich, he would have filled him with wisdom, understanding, and knowledge. You see, he uses the term Spirit of God, and then the wisdom and understanding and knowledge. What is the remise behind this? Please put together... those three words in your vocabulary for this week. Chochma, representing wisdom. Tvuna, understand, understanding or intelligence. And if a person is called, for example, Navon is intelligent. And also Dat, which is revelation that is progressive. Wisdom, intelligence, and knowledge. Why are those three things mentioned and the Ruach Elohim mentioned along with them? I want to try to look at what Rabbi Noel Sheikh has explained. He explained that this term, and I quote, he says, Moshe then outlined, as it's been explained, that what has been transmitted to Betzalel in the making the Mishkan below is Moshe. The Ruach Elohim, the Ruach Elohim. Now, the Ruach Elohim itself, the Spirit of God, is the Spirit of wisdom, understanding, and knowledge. Now, we need to understand this very important point. Why is the Torah mentioned it is these three, explain, these three attributes? It says, because the These are the three qualities that Hashem used to create the world. As it says, Hashem created the earth with wisdom. He arranged the heavens with understanding. And with his knowledge, he, the depth were split open when the heavens is then transmitted. This is found in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 8. 19 and 20. You see the Chochmah that we are reading about here in the text, the Tvuna and the Dad are the three attributes that God used to create not just the earth, but also to create the heaven. Without having those qualities, Bezalel would not have been able to create the Mishkan, a place where the Shekhinah is being dwelt in a way that it resembles the heavens. In essence, the kingdom of God, the Mishkan is a picture of the kingdom of God, had to be established on earth as it is in heaven. That's if you think about the prayers of Yeshua, the Avinu Sheba Shemaim, he mentioned the heaven and the earth. And the Tfilat for a second that we saw in the Amidah, when we pray the Kedusha, and we get in our antiptos and we say, Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. What we are asking God, we are asking God to be able to raise ourselves up from earth, to get a glimpse of heaven and bring ourselves down all the way to earth from the heaven because we need the understanding of the heavens in order to understand the earth. You see, when Yeshua spoke to God, To Peter, he said to him, Blessed are you, Peter, that this has been revealed to you, revealed to you not from man, but from the heavenlies. Since a shame wanted Bezalel to join together the Mishkan on earth, listen to that, he was making, 
He was making it in the world on earth with the heavenly Mishkan above. And this is something we always, always have to remember. When we want to establish the kingdom of God on earth, when we want to build a Mishkan, when we want to build synagogue, whatever it is, it has to resemble the things that are in heaven. And a matter of fact, everything that we have here on earth is also exist in the heavens, but in a higher spiritual madrega. Everything that you see physically right now here will be also in the heavens, but it is in a way that is much more spiritual. That's why we have to make sure make sure to put and he says here he wanted Bezalel listen to this this is powerful to create a new physical and spiritual reality if you want to establish a new physical reality let's take your home your community whatever it is whatever the Mishkan if you want a new physical reality you have to have a new spiritual reality reality and this is something a lot of people forget they want to fix their physical reality without taking care of the spiritual reality you can't do do this the verse tell us that hashem granted him with the very qualities which he himself has used to create and to join together the heavens and the earth the midrash explained and I spoke about it in the Besor, according to COVID-19, that he knew how to join the letters of God's name. It says in the end of the book of Zechariah, Bayoma hu Adonai Echad Ushemo Echad. This is important. And I want you to remember that, that in order for us to join the, shame, the name of God, for example, in a prayer that's called the shame, the shame for the sake of unification, you must first understand the heavenlies. And that's why, for example, now I wrote the book, The Fall of a Dome. Why? Because we are just bored and want to write books? No. Is that we understand the spiritual reality. One who understands the spiritual reality will also be able to create a new earthly Mishkan here on earth. So before you run around and build and construct and think all those grand, great thoughts, make sure that you understand spiritually the heavens as you transmit them back down to earth. And this, friends, is the Regal Be'evrit Shorashim edition for this week. Shalom, everybody.